I always knew that July was going to be a tricky month for JRPGs thanks to its two big releases being out at the same time towards the end of the month, but it actually ended up being a surprisingly focused month of play thanks to putting plenty of time into a big JRPG before them and then choosing between the two quickly when they finally came out. Having multiple routes to continue and a certain action JRPG definitely kept me busy until new release time, and the desire to run around in a big world made choosing between those late month releases easy, but the best part is that I enjoyed everything I played for a different reason, whether it was story or unique gameplay that had me excited to play a lot as we come into August. So with some great games to talk about and to continue playing, here are the JRPGs I played in July. In June, I had already spent a lot of time with Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hopes thanks to its demo and then its release later that month, and I happily kept playing it pretty much until July's new releases came out that meant it really felt like the main thing I played in July. I'm happy to say I was able to finish two routes in it, being the Golden Wildfire and Scarlet Blaze ones, and thanks to getting a different ending type in both, I feel like I was able to experience a lot of what Three Hopes has to offer, which is what I've based my review on that I hope to edit and put up soon. But I also I also feel like my Three Hopes journey won't truly be done until I complete the Azure Gleam route too, so I wonder if I'll be able to get into that anytime soon. My playthroughs so far have helped me learn how great all the characters are in each house, so I want to have the same kind of experience with the Blue Lions as well, and while there's only so much time to play everything, I hope I can find some to keep playing this, as I feel like I'm so close to having a complete journey with it that would make me feel like I can put it down happily. I'd love to hear how many routes you guys ended up doing in it, and if you plan to do them all at some point too, but for now, with everything else, I look back fondly on my time with Three Hopes as a very enjoyable game that I got sucked into, and look forward to seeing as much of it as I can in the next break between games. After I finished my Scarlet Blaze route in Fire Emblem Three Hopes, I kept my time free for a few days to be ready for Digimon Survive and Xenoblade Chronicles 3 as I knew I wanted to try both of them to decide which one would get the most of my time. While I enjoyed Digimon Survive enough to give it its own video, I couldn't get past the vast world of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and chose it as the game I'm playing at the moment, and I'm enjoying discovering its classes and big world as I keep playing, especially with its interesting premise that has you fighting for your freedom in an epic feeling way. I was easily pulled into its story by its cinematics, music, and the way it makes its world feel complete with all its flashbacks. And while I felt like its combat was different without the blades of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I'm starting to get the hang of its different classes now that is making gameplay even more enjoyable. And this isn't even to mention the shiny things in the distance feeling that is back in this entry, even more so with soldiers to send, quests, and enemies with extra treasure that I feel the need to fight every time. So it's definitely got that addictive hook I loved from 2 that will keep me exploring at my own pace that makes seeing its world and enjoying its sights a pleasure to spend time with. I'm about 15 hours into it now and still finding new things I enjoy about its world as new systems unlock, and as I feel like I'm getting the hang of combat, I feel like I'm getting more enjoyment out of its early systems too, so altogether it's feeling very complete, and I'm sure I'll feel this more and more as I keep diving in and finding new things to play with. I bet I have plenty more to see, both in terms of story and the gameplay progression that has me excited to keep playing and discovering things in its world, and I hope everyone else is having just as much fun with it too, as so far it really is delivering on the big kind of world that I love to enjoy in this series. Unfortunately, there's only so much time in the month, so despite enjoying my time with Digimon Survive when I bought and tried it on its release day, I haven't been able to put more time into it since, but I did enjoy those couple of hours enough to make a video on it that means it truly is just a case of two great games coming out at the same time. It reminded me a lot of the original Digimon anime in a good way, and hearing some of the positive things you guys said about it in my video comments has me excited, as it seems like those who like it really like it. There's still a lot to do in it, such as evolving my Digimon for the first time, and I assume collecting more, so I'll definitely be keeping it in mind as soon as I finish Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Although there are so many things coming out throughout the upcoming months, I'm a little worried I might not be able to, but I want to do my best as it seems like a good game, and the Digimon team did work on it for so long that I really want to see how the overall experience plays. I hope those who did stick with it are still enjoying it a lot and are enjoying seeing what their choices lead to as they keep playing, and I look forward to joining in the fun more soon as it really does seem like an interesting new Digimon experience. 
Because July's releases were later last month, I'm still naturally playing them, with Xenoblade Chronicles 3 as my game of choice right now. There are other things I'd like to play this month too that will depend on time, although I would like to fit in at least one new release. Soul Hackers 2 comes out this month and looks super stylish and cool that makes it easily the new release I can't help but have my eye on. I don't have much experience with the Devil Summoner side of Shin Megami Tensei, so this will be my first of that type of game, but since I enjoy the Persona series and it's meant to bring in some of those social elements and the same monsters, I have a good feeling that I'll enjoy this one if the story is as good as it looks. I don't know if I'll review it or play just a little of it yet, but I know I definitely want to at least try it, and I hope it hooks me in enough to try the whole thing as one of the most exciting games coming out in August. I also still have recent releases on my mind, such as Digimon Survive, and since I would like to play it before the year is out, I hope I get a little extra time this month to get to know it properly. The other recent release I'm thinking about is Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes with that Azure Gleam route that would really help me feel like I've fully finished it. For both of these, I plan to look at how much time I have and make a decision based on that. I do have a slight advantage for playing Three Hopes again as I have that New Game Plus data, but we'll see as I'm very much interested in both, so I'll probably just see how I feel at the end of my Xenoblade Chronicles 3 journey. One thing for sure is we're certainly not short on things to play, and that's not even including extra things coming out in Japan or demos like the Diofield Chronicle that I feel like I don't even have time to think about. I'm very much enjoying what I'm already playing now though, and hope you guys are too, and I hope we all have a good month of playing good things and another fun month of playing JRPGs. Thank you for watching this video, let me know in the comments below what you played last month and what you plan to play this month. You can like and share this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel for more JRPG content like this, and ring that bell to get notifications on whenever I post so you don't miss a thing. You can check out more videos here, and you can find me on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all at JRPG Jungle. Links to those will be in the description below, and until next time, thank you, bye!